Hey, what's good YouTube? My name is Craig and in this video, I'll be sharing you my review and analysis of the movie, The White Tiger with an entrepreneurial twist. See, this channel is all about helping you to become the entrepreneur of your life. And with these movie analyses, I'll be looking at various movies through the lens of an entrepreneur. So the typical movie review channels may just give you the highs and lows or the general synopsis of how a movie may be through their um, point of view. But for you, I want to provide you with value in the perspective of looking at a movie and taking away some of the actionable nuggets of wisdom that's going to help you to become uh, a better entrepreneur. So without further ado, let's get into the general high level movie summary. Uh, in respective to the film, The White Tiger. So this movie is very interesting because it's basically the hero's journey of an entrepreneur from the low caste system of India. So you have the main character, Balram, and he's essentially born into a low caste system where his whole life is predefined to stay within poverty. And so his family's job is essentially dedicated to running and operating this tea shop that also produces little sweets and services for um, the village that he lives with it. But the issue lies between his gifts and his status. So in India, um, the caste system is real. And so certain people are born into certain positions in life. And those positions oftentimes predetermine their destiny. So if you're born into a higher caste system, you're automatically predisposed to wealth, certain privileges. But if you're born into a lower caste system, essentially you have little access to wealth, knowledge, and resources that are going to help you to escape those conditions. But Balram, he, he's born with a gift. He's a naturally super intelligent kid and early in his life he's predisposed with this tag of being a gifted student the issue is is that early on in his life um his family is kind of bogged down with this mentality that they can never grow that they can never uh, escape their conditions but ballroom believes that he has a bigger future and he continues to work on his craft. He continues to stay true to this vision that he can escape his circumstances. Uh, his father dies early on. And with his father's death, um, his dreams die a little bit. And because of his father's death, he's forced to work uh, at a young age. He has to leave school and he's working and working for his family's business. But in the back of his mind, he knows that there's a bigger journey for him. And the, the thing I love about Ballroom is that he never loses sight of his vision and he's constantly working on his craft and he's living and working in a village and this village is basically run by a landlord who's from a higher caste system who's really an asshole. But Ballroom sees this opportunity to drive for his landlord as a, as a way to like level up his income and exposure to opportunities. Um, he positions himself for success, winds up becoming uh, the driver for the landlord. But in the meantime, um, he has an affinity for one of the landlord's sons who he believes to be a good person. Because the landlord, um, like I said, he's not a good guy. He mistreats people, he abuses people, he's very corrupt. But Barum, being this kind of naive person, um, subjects himself to the rigors of being a, a, a driver for this family. And, um, you know, he's mistreated, he isn't valued. But like I said, he never loses sight of his vision. And ultimately, he forms a, somewhat of a relationship with one of the landlord's sons who he believes to be good. Um, but unfortunately, he's falsely framed for a crime that he didn't commit because, you know, he's from the lower class. But despite running into that issue, he continues to work on his craft. He never loses his vision. Uh, he still treats these people with dignity. But eventually he, he realizes that 
these people, they're never going to change. You know, India is a corrupt country. People from the higher caste are never going to view him as an equal. So he sees an opportunity to seek revenge on his landlord. He makes a come up, I you know, on the side of working on his drive for as a driver. He's essentially learns how to steal money from the, the family. And uh, he basically stacks up a, a pretty good amount of capital to start his own business and becomes one of India's top tech entrepreneurs. So um, there's a lot of spoilers in that summary, but that's essentially a synopsis of the movie. So I just gave you a high level overview of the movie summary and synopsis. But before I go into some of the entrepreneurial takeaways, I want to give you some additional context into some of the themes of the movie. Um, see, I'm an entrepreneur and I've done a lot of my business overseas in other countries. And because of that, I've developed a high cultural intelligence quotient. And this movie is shot from an Eastern perspective. See, most of us Americans and Westerners were trained to look at movies through a certain perspective. But this movie, The White Tiger, is different because it's not shot from our traditional Western uh, point of view. And so some of the, the main themes to really think about are some of like the Eastern symbology. So we look at the movie title, The White Tiger. Well, the white tiger in the Indian Eastern perspective is major because the white tiger is basically not only a paradigm shift, but when a white tiger is viewed in the, in the Eastern point of view, it's a rarity. It's royal. It's special. It's one of a kind. It's kind of like this mystery that's going to position you for success. So the movie title is very critical. But even when the movie just starts out, you have the main character, Balram, talking about the rise of the yellow man and the brown man. And so in this movie, what they're really talking about is like the white tiger of this paradigm shift in world economic uh, dominance. And so the character always talks about how the white man, a.k.a. the U.S., is falling, but who's rising is the East. It's China, the yellow man, and India, the brown man. So that's that's really, really interesting in some of like the themes that are going on throughout the movie. But also what you begin to see is you get to see a, a lot of the issues with the Indian caste system. So I could do a whole video on what the Indian caste system really is, but basically it's a hierarchy of uh, people. It's basically their form of classism. And you see the people on the bottom uh, being oppressed by the people on the top. And so when you when you see Barum, he comes from a lower class, a lower caste. And the people who he works for come from a higher caste. But what he does after he achieves his wealth is he learns to treat people from all castes the same. Because he realizes that humans are one and the same. It doesn't matter who where you're born. It's really who you are. And then kind of like another major theme within the movie is all about kind of like the corruption. Like it doesn't matter if you're born in the West or the East. Corruption exists everywhere because power corrupts, but absolute power corrupts absolutely. And so in the movie, you see a lot of payoffs, a lot of bribes, but um, that's just kind of how that, that world works. It's like the wild West uh, essentially, but from an Eastern perspective. So returning to this theme of looking at this movie through the lens of an entrepreneur, I want to provide you with a couple of entrepreneurial takeaways. Number one, in this movie, The White Tiger, the first major theme is that entrepreneurship is the key to freedom. Uh, the main character, Balram, he comes from a lower caste system, but he understands from an early age that the only way for him to rise up out of his circumstances is to become an entrepreneur and to raise his, not only his financial IQ, but his financial standing in life because he understands that the higher caste uh, system is basically determined based upon uh, how much money you make and what your economic well-being um, is uh, determined by. So the first entrepreneurial theme is that entrepreneurship is the key to freedom.
Number two is that the second entrepreneurial takeaway is that you must create your own opportunities. Balram, the, the, the main character, he's always positioning himself for success. Whether it was himself in school or whether it was him figuring out that he needs to be a driver for this higher caste family or whether it, him, it was him figuring out how to get close to one of the sons to figure out um, how he could create a new business for himself. Balram always positioned himself for opportunities. So that's another major entrepreneurial takeaway. Number three is a little bit more kind of uh, altruistic. But like I said, in the movie, you this movie is shot from an Eastern perspective. So what you're seeing when the main character is talking about the rise of the yellow man and the rise of the brown man, he's talking about the, ri the economic rise of the East and the economic decline of the West. And this is actually occurring... As we, as we speak, as I speak, as we live, you see the Western world kind of falling and you see the Eastern world, China and India and Southeast Asia really becoming the new economic leaders of the world. So that's a, that's a third uh, entrepreneurial theme to uh, or nugget to take away. And number four is that uh, technology is the future. So Balram understands that like internet is the key to success through the through the lens of an uh, entrepreneur because he realizes that the internet is like the ultimate democratic platform and so when uh, he talks about starting a business in bangalore bangalore is basically the silicon valley of india and he understands that like okay in order to take over the world he needs access to the world so that's why he sets up his business in bangalore but he understands that like through the internet is how he's going to make his living and then number five, the, the last kind of major entrepreneurial takeaway is that you must treat people with kindness because karma is real. You know, Baram, the main character, he comes from a low, uh, low caste and he's beaten up and mistreated by the family that he works for. But after he starts his business and he becomes a man, after he becomes a leader, he treats all his employees with respect and dignity. And that's one of the major reasons why his company is so successful, because he doesn't treat people like they're beneath him. He treats everybody as an equal. So in conclusion, the movie The White Tiger is an excellent uh, business movie for any entrepreneur who wants to seek any type of motivation and inspiration to stimulate them on a dull day. Like I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, it was well shot, well edited. It had a great storyline, but it ha had a lot of also powerful messages that um, everyone who wants to start a business should really understand and also study. So my question for you today is that do you agree or disagree with my analysis uh, of the movie, The White Tiger? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts, so make sure to drop your comments below.